or one of our GCAT Plus users wants to use some of the symbol libraries that are out on the internet containing DWG or AutoCAD files and wants to convert those and use those and make uh, her own palette uh, of symbols suitable for outdoor settings. Now, how does one go about it? She wants to make a palette uh, rather like this. There's a banana lounge and another banana lounge, um, a bird bath, a set of chairs, a table and chairs and so on. So she wants to utilize some of the DWG files that are on the net and convert them into GK Plus LCD files. So how does one go about that? The first step is to scour the net and download DWG files. I put them in a folder called Conversion and a subfolder called In. So here's a series of DWG files that I've downloaded. We'll note that under the Conversion folder, I've got an Out folder as well. And what I'm going to do now is to start a tool that will convert all the drawings as a batch and put the converted drawings in this out folder and we'll turn them from a DWG into a DXF file. Once we have DXF files, then we can bring them into GCAD Plus, turn them into our own symbol. Will we recommend as a converter the OpenDWG Foundation Tigger, T-E-I-G-H-A. You can search for it under Google and uh, download it. It's absolutely free. So your first step is to set up an input an output folder and of the files that will come in they'll all be DWG and for output I'd recommend you set release 14 ASCII DXF. The DXF or drawing exchange file is one that can be opened up or inserted into a GCAT plus drawing file and that will enable us to get access to these free blocks that we've downloaded from the internet. They're royalty free so that we can use them. So let's start and the conversion process is running now and converting all of those drawings into DXF and we are, will be able to load them. Well, here's the result of the conversion. All the DXF files are in that out folder. So what we now want to do is to go to GCAD Plus and let's test one out. I would recommend you start a brand new file and probably load it without any template at all. What that means is that there's just layer zero. And at this point, we can say file DXF in, and we can browse to this PC, the conversion, and to our out folder. Uh, and let's pick one of these and open it up. We do see an empty paper space, but in the model, we can zoom extents. Whoops. I'll zoom previous, what that's telling us is that there might well be other entities in different places. Now this is a royalty free image, so what I'm going to suggest you do is select the, and that's a block, so I'd be inclined to explode that block, then I'd be inclined to take this and copy to the clipboard the bits that we want, then I'd start another template, right click and paste on the clipboard, put it at the zero comma zero, and then zoom extends. The reason for going through all of that is that we should now have quite a clear, um, uh, we have a, a clear drawing, although there's still one layer left there. So we can just grab everything here and move everything onto that layer there, and then we'll, we'll be able to go here and remove that CAD blocks layer, and we're left with just the information that we want. Zoom extents may or may not work at this point, and it does, so this is now behaving well. The reason to specify the base of the drawing to be zero, zero, is we want to, when we pick this as a symbol and use it, we want it to be anchored at a suitable point. So what I'm going to do now is pick these up and move them and move all of them to zero, zero. I'll right click unselect all and zoom extends. Now I've got a block that I can use as a planter box and for our outdoor planting. 
So I hope that shows you how to go about taking a drawing that's freely available on the net. I encourage them to use it because it's royalty free and put it into the GK Plus environment to make quite a clean, lean symbol. Well, I've gone back into that Catalogs 2 file. I've scaled it by a factor of 20. So now when we measure from one side to the other, we've got 350 odd millimetres for the planter, which is reasonable size. Notice also if I type FS for file size, it's only 11 kilobytes in size, very small and very efficient. And if we look at layers, I put a new layer downloaded from CAD blocks and we've made that layer non-printing and the current layer is layer zero. So this has been well tested now and works in a palette that we can use over and over and over again.